Good morning from Old Key West. It is day two, everybody, on Virgin Voyage Scarlet Lady. And I will say this, the bed. <laughs> if you guys are wondering if I had a good night's sleep or not, I will say this, the beds are firm, extremely firm. So if you're a fan of softer beds, these beds aren't soft, like, at all. Mm -mm. Like, I mean, I slept good. I was, I was knocked out, but I was tired. Long Island iced tea would do that. <laughs> I forgot to mention that we do have a balcony, and I don't even think I showed you guys our balcony. You didn't. Oh, my bad. But now I'm going to show you the balcony because it's nice, and we pulled up to Old Key West, so it's even prettier. Is it? Uh, yeah, let's go see it. Okay. Whoa. They said, let there be heat. Lord, it's hot out here. <laughs> and this is our view this morning. Let's go get some breakfast and then... Hit the road. We're headed towards the wake for breakfast. It's like 30 minute drive. I like the nice lilac lights going on in the background. I hear in Key West, you see this live here with my boy Dean, Mr. Lee, and my girl, Abby. Let's go! Look at the little cute swings that they have here. You really can't be swinging on them, though, because they have them locked to the floor. But look at them. So as we're walking to the wake, I noticed that they have this little game area, which is so cute. They have a bunch of board games. They have like this sand shuffle thing. How many of you guys remember this? You know what I remember? Home Sweet Alabama, they took these off and put them on their wedding cake. <laughs> right behind me, they have like a little seating area if you guys just want to sit down and chill. Right here in this little diner, this is what I passed last night. Let me show you guys. They have candy. I got my red vines here last night while I was waiting in line. I stopped by, got some red vines, and then went and waited in line. And it was perfect. They have taffy, gummy bears, and all that is included with your admission. Yes! So I'm going to take you guys through because guess what else I found? An arcade! Come on! So this is the foosball table, which I learned last time I was doing it wrong. Yeah, That's one. What happens if you hit it in yourself? Oh! I love that all these games are included. And yeah, my Mario game is over because I totally suck, but I can play the Wii. Oh, look, I'm Luigi now. Oh, darn. All right, I'm gonna be um, this one. Oh. oh, she knocked me out. Oh man, she's kicking my butt. Doesn't this take you back to the 80s when you're at the arcade and you're playing and you're hanging out with your friends, eating pizza and stuff? This is pretty awesome. As we're walking, like I said, to the wake, there's another little hidden gem, which is another seating area. This was a nice little area where you can play some games and stuff like that. They actually host the games right here on the stage. We're in the wake, waiting to be seated for brunch. Yeah, I'm excited. We do have this booked for dinner, but it's a different menu, and I just want to come in here and relax, and it's so nice. It's really nice in here. It is. It's very elegant, and I just want to come in here and eat all <laughs> of the things. <laughs> like, just give me everything on the menu. Definitely. Feels like a fancy steakhouse to me, right? Definitely, yeah. What's really breathtaking is the view. Behind you is just like the ocean and the people's houses and yachts. It's just so pretty. Look how nice the menu is. It's nice and fancy. They do have bottomless brunch uh, mimosas for 25 bucks. That's not bad. I'm getting some clam chowder, a wedged salad, a benedict, steak and eggs, so pretty much almost everything on the menu. Yeah. You got clam chowder? Yes. Should I get the poached shrimp? Ooh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, steak and eggs, right? Yeah, I'm getting that. What about the uh, brioche French toast? Yeah, I'm getting that too. It sounds like we're getting the same thing. <laughs> What about the crepe cake? No. When you're in fancy restaurants, you have to speak the language. Crepe. Boy. Can we do scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese? And I would like to try the wake. The crispy pork belly sauteed spinach with bone marrow. That sounds actually... Yeah, it sounds good. I kept it safe. I got steak and eggs. 
You guys are wondering about the camera angles, how Ray and I were both sitting on the same side. Don't worry about it. <laughs> My food has arrived. It looks very, very fancy, like almost fancy enough not to eat. However, as you can see, it has cocktail sauce that it came with and a nice little leaf. I am Groot. You want this? Save it for you. you can have it. No, thank you, baby. Sure. It's all you. You are 100% positive you don't want this. Mm. So these shrimp are served cold. And they go very well with this cocktail sauce. It is, oh man, this is real good, right? I know you don't like cold shrimp, so I'm gonna eat them all. It's a real pretty place. Oh well. The cocktail sauce is a little spicy. Just a little bit. I caught it right back here. In this region. This is how the clam chowder comes. It just comes with like little bits and pieces in the bowl, right? And then this is where the magic happens. Thank you. The base reminds me of like a cheese soup, but not like a thick cheese soup. Nothing about it is clammy like. It doesn't taste like the ocean. The fried clams in here though. Man, I wish I could just give you one. It is so good. And that's a big piece of clam. It's not gritty. This soup right here is a must have when you come into this restaurant. I'm telling you now, this is a Ray must have from now on. Thank you. Where do you start cheese eggs? Wow, that's different. The cheese is very sweet, which is weird to me at first. I was like, whoa, why are my eggs are sweet? The eggs are like, uh, they're not my favorite because I don't really like um, that cheese, whatever cheese it is, it's really not to my liking. Let's try the steak. Oh. Some of you guys will say this is way too tough for you, which I get, and a steak like this, you definitely have to order it medium well. This is like a little knish, I think. Whatever it is, it's a potato and it's cheesy in the middle. I kind of messed up with the steak, y'all. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have got it like extra done. This is a crispy pork belly right here. Spinach. It's not a good idea to eat and then want to film. I'm trying to eat this eggs Benedict. I actually really like just took it all apart to try it. This is the piece of the pork belly. Um, I just took a little bite. It's lacking a little bit of um, seasoning. This is not my favorite meal. I could have actually just skipped it. I'm saying that, but then I think about that soup. I would actually not even get this and have them take this back and get some more soup. Let me just try this poached egg. I'm not like, I don't wanna like talk bad about it, but this is really not my favorite right now. Ray got her steak. Well done. <laughs> I did it. I got a medium well, but it's, that may have been too much. Too. Yours was better than mine though. I should have got it one under. So medium. Is this char on the bottom? But I should have got it like right at medium. And the sauce is kind of tangy. Mm -hmm. Almost like a Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Spell it. W O this is here. I'm not sure what kind of cheese they put on here. I usually get my eggs with cheddar cheese. It's not awful to me. It is very sweet. Okay. Spinach. I got the real French toast. <laughs> And it appears to be some uh, blueberries and strawberries and whipped cream and caramel sauce. So I know this is gonna be good. Ooh, there's bananas on top of here too, right? And I think pecans or walnuts, one of the two. Oh, that's good, right? That is good. The French toast is a hit to me. The steak and eggs, it's okay. My crepe cake has arrived and it looks very fancy, right? Everything we've had at the wait looks very fancy. I don't know if that's like a little spinach leaf, but Mint, silly. Oh, it's mint? <laughs> <laughs> so mint. I'm gonna give it a try. And it has pistachio all around it. Right, you see the little pistachio pieces? Ah, uh, yummy, yummy. It has a uh, spongy texture to it. I'm trying to describe this. The only thing that comes to mind right now is buttercream frosting. There's not a lot of cake. Like, it's really not sweet at all. Maybe a hint of sweetness. The next dessert I have is the coconut 
panna cotta. This looks like it's a huge dessert when they brought it to me. I'm like, Ugh. it's so pretty. Like, I don't even want to eat it because it's so pretty. These look like meringue, but these are frosting. They did a good job. It's not whipped cream. It is very airy. See how I told you guys? It looks like a big dish. It's very hollow, ooh. This is very coconutty, but it is not a very sweet dessert at all. If you do not like the consistency of flan, pudding, yogurt, do not touch this dessert. You will not like it. If you're like me and you can eat it all, this dessert right here is good. It is a sugar-free dessert. It's a very good alternative to sugar because you don't really miss it. Like I don't get an aftertaste. It's a vegetarian and a vegan option. When they brought the dish over, you're like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Look at this. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Honestly, I like this. There's another little coffee bar. We're on deck seven, guys. The wake is on deck seven. A lot of the restaurants are on six and seven, so that's where we're at, unless you're going up to the galley, which is on 15. But all these pastries and stuff are included. If you're looking for the gangway on the Virgin Voyager, Scarlet Lady, it is on deck four. No, it's on deck four. We have stepped off the ship and we are now in Old Key West. You guys see all the red hammocks hanging from everyone's balcony up there? I will say this ship is a monster, it's huge. I really did not feel that ship moving at all since I've been on it. Stepping off, you see that there's a, a lot of tours that you can do. Jet ski tours, shark tours, shark tours. Shark tours? Did I say shark tours? <laughs> yeah, shark and wildlife. Shark though. You could rent some bikes, you could do snorkeling. There's a lot of options here as soon as you walk off, so if you don't pre-book excursions, just take the little walk and see what they have because you could even rent towels if you want to rent a towel. They said shark too. Sharks. Like, like, ah. like Jaws. Yeah. We've been to Old Key West before. As I have got off the ship, I realized this looks familiar. Yeah, this is the exact same port. Right. So if you guys haven't seen that video, we'll leave the link down below and you guys can click on that and see what we did. We, we had a excursion for today, but we uh, canceled it. It was yeah. more like a sightseeing food tour, but we decided we could walk around on our own. For and free. stop right for free. <laughs> and, and still eat everything that we see. Facts. There's a bunch of cool little boutiques, food spots, saloons, bars, pubs. There's an Old Key West FedEx man right here about to deliver some Old Key West packages. Chickens or roosters. You guys, we just walk in and I'm like, why is there ATM in the bush? The last time we came to Old Key West, we went to Kermit's. That was about four years ago. And so then, Ray wasn't a huge fan of Key Lime Pie. Over the years, Ray has become very fond of Key Lime Pie, so she's gonna go back to Kermit's to find out whether or not her taste for Key Lime Pie also works here. Now that she's a new fan of Key Lime Pie, is Kermit's the best that she's had? You said it. you didn't like Key Lime Pie the last time we were here? Oh, I hated it. And so today, it may be different. Yeah, because for some reason I started kind of liking key lime pie. Right. So I was like, wait a minute. So yes. this is the ultimate test. So let's head over to Kermit's and let's see. If you don't feel like walking, right, you can rent a bike. Yes, and right off the cruise ship, they, they also have bike rentals there. But if you walk down, you can get a bike rental for even cheaper. So don't stop at the first stop as soon as you get off the cruise ship. You can place an order for key lime pie and have a ship to your house. Oh, really? Yes, she's so this, shipping pie. There's all kinds of unique things in here made out of key lime pie. There's like key lime pie incense and <laughs> key lime pie shea butter, key yes. lime pie barbecue sauce. They have key lime pie dog treats. A slice of key lime pie is $5.50. Not bad. So they have strawberry key lime, coconut key lime, and gluten-free key lime. This is Kermit. This is uh, not the Kermit, but it is a variation of Kermit, a Kermit variant, if you will. A Kermit is somewhere walking around here. Uh, we didn't see him. We did see him the last time we were here, but Kermit, if you're watching, we missed you. <laughs> I got my little key lime pie. Something happened to me. I am now a fan of key lime pie. It does give you that first shock of like key lime because it's like limey. After you take that first bite, 
This is nothing but good. The graham cracker crust on the bottom, the homemade whipped cream. Man, it is so good. Let's see if I can be converted. The crust is good. Mm, the crust is delicious. The pie is very creamy, but then it got real tart. It's the, all that key lime. You can have your key lime pie back. I'll take it. You can have it. Here you go, ma'am. I really like it. Good. Enjoy it, baby. I'm just glad that you're enjoying it. Mm. So I'm at Flying Monkeys, and I'm gonna get the Starburst. I got the Big Daddy. This thing was only 18 bucks. This is something you need to cool off while you're in Key West because it is very hot out here. So we're headed back to the ship, or headed back on the ship. Oh, yeah. and it's a little line, it's a little wait to get yeah. on. And there's we no, notice. Yeah, there's, where's the cooling towels in the water? Yeah. Ow, let's go. Ow. <laughs> wait, wait, my shoe got caught in a hole. <laughs> it is scarlet night, as you can tell from the red light district. I mean, the red lights going on in the background. Um, I don't have my red clothes on yet because I gotta eat. And if you guys know me, I make a mess when I eat. They're doing something at the pool first, mm -hmm. but we have dinner, so we're gonna go have dinner first. again because you know we had brunch here earlier i pretty much just ordered everything off the menu not really but kind of <laughs> i did get two appetizers and three different sides and two like main courses shrimp and grits is a main dish not for me that's like an appetizer and then i did order the new york strip so i'm excited to get that so and i did order that medium well so let's see if we have a better result than we did earlier <laughs> The bread is hot, so it's still warm. You can see it has some um, sea salt on the outside. This is some good bread. Back on the clam chowder again. You guys know earlier for brunch, I had two bowls. It was, it's really that good. Look at this beautiful wedge salad. Look at this. Mm. The salad is extremely fresh. Very crunchy. The flavors of the dressing with the bacon. Heck yeah, this is what I'm talking So good. All of the food is coming. All of it. I see. It's a lot. So much where our table is full and we don't really have any more room on our table <laughs> for anything. So, what are you going to try first, love? The mushrooms. Oh, that's pretty decent. You can't mess up mushrooms. Though. Not really. Shrimp and grits. They give you a lot of shrimp and grits, and now I realize why it's a main course. Oh, yeah. Because it's like a pot of grits. Like a pot, like Mama Odie pot right. of grits. That's the same pot Tiana and her daddy had. <laughs> right before they opened the restaurant. Oh, yeah. Ew. This uh, polenta is kind of crispy. Oh, it's fried polenta, that's why. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I should have read the menu. I'm not a huge fan of grits. And this tastes like grits. Does it? It does. Does it have season? Yeah. Not a lot, if any. And last but not least, let's get into the steak, baby. I got the New York strip. We got it medium well. Medium well. This looks oh, like well cooked. done. Yeah, that's good. It was overcooked. So not juicy at all? At all. So yeah, the steaks have been on the uh, the tougher side. It has 
really good flavor. But there's no juices. No juices, but it's better than the earlier. If I had to eat this, I would just ask them for steak sauce. But I want to offend anybody, so I won't ask for steak sauce. But they did have like six sauces you can ask so for. So are you asking for steak sauce to add moisture to it? Yes. It is seasoned pretty decently. But it needs to marinate in something overnight. Tenderize. We've been sitting here for what? Maybe 10, 15 minutes? We're gonna get the wake and the baked Alaska. Ray's getting the mayo lemon cheesecake. It's actually vegetarian. I don't know if it's like this every night, but tonight they're really busy. First up, let's try the baked Alaska, Ray. It looks so pretty. It does, doesn't it? Because there's something at the bottom that's kind of hard. Mm. So it's like marshmallow fluff. And there's ice cream right there. Is that like pistachio ice cream? Oh, that's pretty good. The ice cream is frozen. Uh, so we're trying to maneuver around that. That's actually really good. It really is. The bake Alaska gets a thumbs up. This cheesecake is so pretty. It's gorgeous. So the outer, outer crust is kind of hard, like magic shell, but yellow. It's like key lime pie, but lemon. It's like little crumbles of graham crackers around it. So it's like a deconstructed piece of um, cheesecake. The dessert's two for two. Your tart. The last dessert. Mm. It's very chocolatey. Not too rich, but very chocolatey. And this is good. It is encased in a short crust, and it has a cinnamon cookie crumble somewhere on it. And it's chocolate mousse. This is good. I like this. I think all of them are pretty good. Every last one of them. That was our dinner here at the week. It's actually pretty decent. Now they're doing a bunch of activities out here, so we're gonna go try to catch those before it's uh, too late. I need to go put on my red fishnet shirt that I bought for these events. I'm gonna put it on right now in my red Pele Pele jeans. We're on our way to deck seven for the Scarlet Night activities. They're already going on, so I had to change. Get my Scarlet on. <laughs> Show, but I don't know if we're able to record. No, it's the story of the Scarlet Knight. We're gonna uh, try to see what else there is to do. Yeah, there's a pool party tonight at 10:45. I found a photo booth. You gotta get your photo done, right? There's a pool party tonight on the pool deck. On deck 15. I like it. It's fun. It's a cool little atmosphere. Yeah, this is a vibe. A party ain't a party until so a big giant octopus appears. <laughs>
Scarlet Night Pool Party is actually still going on. Yeah, we're just old. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> we stayed out there long. I'm, I'm impressed because we stayed out there way longer than I thought we were. I'm thinking like it's going to be 10 minutes and I'm coming back through. But it was very, very uh, entertaining. It was, it right. was. A lot of people on deck having a great time. And that's what it's all about. So go out there and have a great time. There is an after party that starts at 12. Right. But I don't know how long that's lasting. Right. And yeah, the after party don't be watching me and my pillow. We may or may not hit up the uh, after party. We'll see. Ray, I just realized that the lights are no longer red. Is Scarlet Night over? <laughs> the manor is on deck six. And I want to see what this after party is all about. We're waiting at the manor, which is... In the casino. Bye.